into top eight at Sunset at Sepulpa. G Bro Kaden. G Bro versus Kaden. The now only known as Glizzard. <laughs> now known as Glizzard. I didn't know about the tag change actually. Yeah, no, that's a recent thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Apparently he played like 420 games and like 69 percent win rate, something like that. Okay. It's recently okay. changed it. So yeah. Celebrate, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but this should be a good matchup for Pac-Man, I would imagine. Kaden obviously playing Ridley. Experience with having matchups that aren't exactly favorable, but yeah. I, I did talk to him a little before the set. He's starting to think that maybe the ZSS is better than the Ridley, oh, just yeah. in all matchups. In all matchups, okay. And gotcha. As far as his skill level. And I'm excited to see him pull out a little bit, maybe if things don't go so well in the Ridley, but yeah. Also, the two only, the only two PR players in the venue right now. <laughs> So, yes. at least uh, PR'd an ultimate. We Absolutely. got a stacked HDR bracket. Not killing. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, well, we had a lot of people go to uh, Super Smash Cons. Nice. Kind of evening things out as both players get high percent and they kind of just die going for the deep edge guard. But, you know, it was a tactical SD. Of course, of course. Absolutely. There's no mistakes in the ultimate. Only odd choices. Yeah, we had a lot of people go out to uh, uh, the big tournament on uh, no, SmashCon. Uh, SmashCon, yeah, yes. yeah. A lot of players getting sick, unfortunately. So, glad we were able to get at least two of our VR players out here today. Yeah. It's been incredibly even so far. It's like both players are pretty much sticking at the same percent, but I feel like an early kill is maybe bound to come eventually in the set. Exactly. A lot of good neutral coming out from both players. Um, they both have such explosive uh, states in the game. Yeah. Excellent kill. Excellent call out on the shield board. But Kaden very content to play his, his ledge trap and his advantage for as long as possible. I mean, just you saw trying to go for the two frames at every single opportunity. Oh. Going for the the deep deep here. Oh, I think he angled down there for the kill. Didn't hit, but still just interrupted enough to make him fall all the way Not down. Not how I imagine that game ending, but yeah. in clutching it out with a strong call out. But he was also up two stocks. Uh, so, you know, those types of plays, you know, that's just what Caden is known for. That's what he's going to go for. Yeah. And it, especially when you're up a stock, you can afford to do that. Exactly. You know, when it's up been even stock, the entire set, you kind of know that you can ride it out. I mean... But well, we're going to have to see if he decides to change characters. I mean, he's been doing a lot of uh, character switching this tournament and the past few tournaments. Um, maybe a little bit of a Mario been pulling out in pools, which was funny. But I think we're, we're all serious here going straight into this ESS. Once you get to another another PR player, seed one versus seed two. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're likely only going to see the zero suit and maybe a switch back to the Ridley. Yeah. But... Although not looking too great for yeah, ZSS, her approaches right. are getting stumped out by, you know, Pac-Man's famous defensive play with Hydra and items and stuff like that. That was a nice catch up on the uh, bell that was, that was a necessary not, catch up. Necess a very necessary catch up. Ooh, trying to get something up there, but not quite. And it's, it's so interesting watching Kaden play anyone else. Uh, because that ability will uh, hog the ledge to be able to really yeah. like, play the ledge. It comes out even with Zero Suit. It's not typically known for it, but it still has a strong enough game that be able to play the game that he wants. Yeah, I was just noticing that as well. It's like it felt like a repeat of the previous game, but such vastly different characters. But still, you know, Kaden plays at the ledge the same. And it kind of works, but, you know, 50%, okay, 40% lead, but still. This not the kill. Maybe he didn't think the spacing was right for up smash, but possibly. He just wasn't able to uh, get the position correctly, but still able to get that back air, still able to get uh, a good stage presence going. Uh, I would be surprised if Kaden managed to take this sh this stock before G Bro. I think that put him. It it is seeming like a very thin move. Yeah. But also Pac-Man, sometimes if he's not able to get his setups, he can have a hard time killing. Yeah. And I imagine that was kind of the mindset going in with the Zero Suit. 
It's so tricky to get. Oh, what is that? Is that a grenade or no, that was, a melon of sorts? Yeah, the melon. Okay. Yeah, just super, lingering on yeah, the ledge. Yeah. Super slow to come out, just floating there, but you have to be aware of it. Kane immediately trying to clap back. Once he reaches 138, the up air is going to take it off the top. And that's the thing I'll, I'll notice with Blizzard's uh, play, good old G-Bro, is he'll utilize some of those other items that you wouldn't often see other pack go for. Mm -hmm. And it's just that awareness. He's you know, testing your ability to know what it's going to do, testing if you're going to know how to combat it. Everyone knows to look out for the bell, everyone knows to look out for the key, but not everyone's going to know what to do when he randomly throws out a melon. Yeah, just hanging there on the ledge when you try to recover or something yeah. like that. Or earlier I saw him place a hydrant, do these like combo of moves on it so that it lands and perfectly falls off the ledge trying to catch people that are recovering. And this is what sets him apart from other Pac-Mans who just play the Pac-Man thing. Yeah. He actually knows exactly what to set up and when to do it to give him the most advantage. That's and why he's PR. Yeah. And another thing I've noticed is that it seems like Caden is starting at like 60%. And I feel like that matters a lot more. Oh, the trampoline saving him. But that matters a lot more as ZSS than Ridley, who's like really heavy and can, you know, live at 60 and 120. But ZSS maybe is going to get caught by some of these setups as we're seeing. Maybe losing the advantage a little bit. The beginning of the stocks are going very similarly to the last game, mm -hmm. but again, because Zirsu is so much lighter, it is mattering a lot more. It doesn't yeah. matter if uh, Zirsu... The star KO. Star Almost KO. thought it wasn't going to kill. But also ZSS can afford to take more risk. Like Ridley, a lot of risky plays we saw, and some of them didn't quite work out as well as maybe he wanted, but ZSS can really take a lot of risks and not get punished for it that higher tier privilege. Yeah. But I mean, 112, you got to play it really safe. And I mean, I can imagine Caden wants to keep this advantage, but also, you know, the ledge is scary when Pac-Man's holding Bell. Rage is going to take it for game Beautiful. two. And of course, this is winner's finals. Best of fives all the, all the tournament. So. Absolutely. That was great of Caden to be able to bring it back. It did feel like he was playing from behind most of the game. That, on that last sock to just yeah. able to clutch it out. Kind of kind of caught Glizzard feeling a little comfortable on the ledge there, saying, oh, you're not going to ledge trap me? I can get up, and then getting hit. And that's that ledge trap knowledge, knowing if I just sit back for just a second, you'll feel a little too comfortable to be able to get a bigger punish off and one, just go. sit back. Exactly. But going back to the Ridley maybe didn't didn't feel uh, too comfortable with how close that last game was. Possibly, yeah. You know, comfort is a very important thing. It doesn't matter if Ridley is considered a lower tier. If that's what you feel like is going to get you to win, that's what it's going to be. And a very strong ledge situation coming out. I mean, 116, the upfront out of shield is going to take it early with a commanding lead. Felt like that whole stock was just on the ledge trying to get back. That's what Caden excels at, and I think that's partially why we saw the switch. I like that commitment to the F smash. And I think Battlefield is obviously going to be a little harder for, uh, for maybe both players here. I don't know quite how the matchup plays out, but I think maybe these platforms are creating a little too much movement opportunity for uh, Pac-Man to get the most use out of hybrid. So it's harder to build a wall when you have these platforms to move around on. Oh! Hasn't used it for the entire a set and then catching stock. him off guard. A three stock to end. Winners finals game that's, three. That second game, you know, made it uh, nervous.